This isn't going to be pretty, but I have great respect for you. Uh, I wrote a letter to you, and one of the members of your staff responded uh, to that letter when I was making a comparison between the request that the chairman of this committee made under law, under Section uh, 26 U.S. Code 6103, when he requested uh, <clears throat> President's tax returns. Let me read to what the law says. Upon written request from the Chairman of the Committee on Ways and Means of the House of Representatives, the Chairman of the Committee on Finance of the Senate, or the Chairman of the Joint Committee on Taxation, Secretary shall furnish such committee with any return or return information specified in such request. The rest of the law goes on to say that you can't make it public, and we all know that. You rest your laurels and your response on you couldn't make it public, unless the committee votes. It's called democracy. So I got a, a return letter, and, and, and then, and then, I understand, and we'll get into this in a minute. You uh, also had another request from two members of the loyal opposition that you uh, get some answers to them about Mr. Biden's son's tax returns. So I made, took my shot. I got my answer. And in fact, the person who responded to me, I'd like to talk to him personally about this, he said that I was being intemperate, being lectured on civility from someone who works for the president, President Trump, is like taking chivalry lessons from Jack the Ripper. It is impossible to be polite to corruption in people who break the law. So by refusing to turn over Donald Trump's business and personal tax returns to this committee. I think you're breaking the law. You have no legitimate legal rationale. We've learned recently that simultaneously you've been offering documents to the loyal opposition. When two Republican senators asked you for the private financial information of Joe Biden's family, your department practically tripped over themselves to provide it. You sent it over to them so fast. I wonder if you stuffed it in a Federal Express envelope. So you refused to turn over the president's tax returns to us, which is required by law. It says shall, doesn't say might. I'll give you the citation again. 26, you, and you're familiar with this section. I know you are. It's right on the screen. There it is. That's the law. Your stated reasons for stonewalling our request, we never, you never cite any superseding legal basis. The only thing you suffer is smug rhetoric and staggering lies. I told you what the law is. Word for word, it's right there. Tell me this specific statute that allows you to overrule 26 U.S.C. 6103 F1A at your, at your whim. Tell me what statute. Please. So for, first of all, let me just comment. Uh, I asked a question, Mr. No, Secretary. No, I'm, I'm, com I'm commenting because I find it offensive that you're telling me that I'm breaking the law in staggering lies. I I've relied you, upon. I've, I asked you to tell me why you're not breaking the law. Yeah, there's the law right again, there. Just, just to be clear, there's a third branch of government, and there are courts that interpret things. This is in the courts, and the courts will deal with it. So that's your interpretation of the law. I'm relying upon legal counsel on what is our interpretation of the law. So in all due respect, I am not breaking the law. You have a different interpretation. You're not a judge, and this will be determined by a Neither are you. Gentlemen's time has expired. We'll proceed.